Hey friends, Clayton Phillips here again from Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. And I'm gonna shoot a video on the newest arrival to our dealership, the all new 2021 Grand Design Imagine 2670 MK. Uh, this is a floor plan they've been building for the last uh, number of years. And every year it has been just a, a great little seller for us. And uh, I, I can't wait to get into some of the new, uh, the new features that they've, uh, they've added. Uh, Grand Design, what I love about their company is they're just always continuing to refine and add and do these little things that just continues to push the envelope for the industry, but continue to give people that purchase their RVs um, added value as, as it goes. So, um, and we're gonna jump into a, a few of those details today. Um, again, like I said, this is a 2670 MK. Uh, this does have a walk around island kitchen in it. This is not a bunk model. But one thing I'm gonna say about this particular model is this trailer, you are seeing it as though it just made a 2000 mile journey to our dealership. We have not detailed it. We have not put it through our shop. Uh, we haven't done anything with this trailer other than bring it into inventory here and, and shoot a video on it and open it all up for you today. But one of the things and why I'm sharing this with you is because this is where Grand Design shine, shines, folks. Every single trailer that they build, doesn't matter what it is since the inception of their company, goes through like a 288 point PDI inspection before it leaves their facility. And they do that just so that when they deliver that trailer to the dealer's lot, it's ready to go. We also at our dealership, we do a fully uh, Grand Design certified PDI as well before you pick up your RV. And then we do a pre-check uh, prior to you arriving to pick up your new RV. So it basically every trailer that is new that goes through our dealership here um, goes through two and a half inspections so that when you are investing the kind of money that you are in an RV here at Woody's RV World in Leduc, you know you with confidence you are getting a trailer that's good to go. We also hook up your trailer when you pick it up like it's at a full service campground and that has really um, helped us deliver a phenomenal product, a phenomenal experience for our customers customers and uh, I encourage you to read up on the Google reviews that are organically created from all of the customers that have chosen to do business with us here in, in Leduc and just type in Woody's RV World Leduc and you'll see what we're all about here. Um, but again, we haven't done anything with this trailer. And like I said, Grand Design shines. And I know I'm talking a lot um, on, the, on the front of the trailer and I keep walking back and forth here, but a lot of great detail for you. Um, I have the confidence to be able to shoot a video as soon as the trailer shows up. I have the confidence to be able to walk a customer right from our showroom out while this trailer is still hooked up to the back of the, the, the driver's truck and show them a Grand Design product because I know that we are not the last 80 feet of the assembly line like other manufacturers that are carried by other dealerships uh, where you have to put it through the shop to make things right before you want to take a customer through it. So again, Grand Design doing so many things right, right up front here, fully painted front cap. They have the LED light strips integrated into the front cap for a really cool look. Like I said, it's a painted cap, so unlike a gel coat cap in the industry, folks, that can fade and discolor as time goes on from the sun beating down, this cap is gonna look good for many, many uh, years longer than what you typically get with a gel coat cap. And this front cap also has a lot of hard edges and groove, grooves as well. So it's called a structure cap. So with Grand Design, they're very cognizant of building a squarely built trailer. It's very, very important for towability and for slide outs and things to fit together properly. And that's why you find Grand Design putting those structure caps on, spending a little more money on the fiberglass molds that they use uh, to make sure that their product is just built that much more superior. Um, the other thing that you get with the Grand Design Imagine folks, right from their inception, they were the first travel trailer manufacturer manufacturer to do it is they put in a fifth wheel what I would call a fifth wheel like storage um, in their travel trailer the Imagine so historically with most RVs folks your main floor is represented or starts basically right, right where this belt molding is this is where your main floor is and in most trailers that floor continues all the way forward to the front of the trailer 
okay with grand design what they've done is they've dropped onto the a-frame of the trailer up front they've dropped that storage compartment floor below where your typical floor or where your main floor is to give you this 47 cubic feet of fifth wheel like storage which is absolutely fantastic camping gear nowadays folks is so much bigger um, you're packing more gear with you people want to go on longer trips and outside storage is so so vitally important and with a lot of trailers today you still get like less than half the amount of storage that you would get with what you would get with a grand design here so uh, one thing to note also they do the enclosed utility center on all of their imagines folks so you can hook up your fresh water um, you just run your fresh water line up through this little porthole this little flap your fresh water line will go through there hook up to your city water connection right there um, if you're at a campground and you're moving on to your next destination and you're dry camping and you need to fill up your fresh water tank you can do it two ways just by fi flipping this blue lever right here and that will automatically fill up your 52 gallon fresh water capacity or you can use the gravity fill as well so they give you a couple of options there also battery disconnect switch 110 plug coax cable connections it's all conveniently located here along with your outside shower right here in the utility center and the nice thing is if you're on a day outing or you're hooked you got your trailer set up at a campground and you're gone for a couple of days you can keep this compartment locked and closed one of the major updates they have done is they have gone to a much thicker baggage door they've been running this for a, a, a while now uh, but you do get the metal paddle latch versus a plastic and the twist knobs that you find with others and you do get the magnet but look how thick that door is super solid and it's the slam latch so really really nice heavy solid baggage door also in your pass-through comp storage compartment folks you also get the uh, motion sensor lighting you get two lights one on each side so that light will turn on when you uh, open up your baggage compartment at night if you have it set to motion sense one new update that you get is the tire link which is connected to your compass connect uh, which is a, a system that through an app that you can download on your phone you can operate your slide outs your awning your lighting uh, with this tire link you it's pre-prepped that's what the, this is the pre-prep docking uh, uh, dock for it so you buy the kit from we could probably get it through our parts department right directly from Grand Design and that'll come it's a tire pressure monitoring system so with that Compass Connect app that you can download on your cell phone you can monitor your tires as you're towing your RV down the road um, and again through that Compass Connect app you can definitely you, you know operate the slide outs use your awning what's really cool with that is let's say you're standing on the outside of your trailer and it's you're by yourself and you're kind of like ooh, I got a tighter camping space and you got some you know bushes or some trees in the way instead of standing directly inside your trailer to open up your slide and you're kind of peeking through the window wondering if you're gonna hit something with your slide out you can come right outside like I am right now and utilize the app to open this slide out on this side which is absolutely fantastic same with your awning you can do that also so ton of flexibility the other cool thing with grand design folks is you still get all the switches buttons and knobs um, to manually operate all the features on your trailer as well unlike some of the manufacturers that have gone to a full digital system and those touch screens don't necessarily work all that great in the uh, the colder temperatures grand design is uh, definitely giving you the switches to use as well if you don't happen to have your cell phone or it goes dead on you so again true to grand design they're giving you all the detail to winterize your trailer properly do all the instructions um, up inside the trailer here you've also got it's pre-prepped so that little black basket there that holds all the cables that run up to the the uh, the pre-prep for your uh, solar panel so if you want to add solar to your roof it's all pre-wired for solar right to your roof which is really really cool um, the weight capacities of this trailer folks so on this one you've got a cargo carrying capacity of 1355 57 pounds which is respectable for sure average family of four takes anywhere between a hundred you know 800 to a thousand pounds with them uh, this is a couple's coach so no bunks um, and your unloaded vehicle weight is 7098 pounds as this one came off the assembly line so with the equipment that we spec'd out in this trailer um, comes out at that dry weight so definitely can pack a lot of gear with you we'll also show you underneath the trailer folks one thing it's pointing right at us right here that's the um, the drain for your uh, fresh water tank 
uh, which is really, really handy. It's not a half inch water line with a plug in the bottom of it. That's a T handle. So when you want to drain that 52 gallons of fresh water, it does it in a real hurry. It's not just going to dribble out through a little drain cock that you find on a lot of other trailers, but fully enclosed, heated underbelly, all the gate valves up inside the heated area as well. Um, R30 in your in your floor throughout, which is awesome. And you've got that 35,000 BTU furnace that will provide the heat pumping down into that uh, holding tank cavity. So if you're into doing some colder weather style camping late in the season, early in the season, what have you, you can definitely uh, uh, use this trailer in uh, in colder temps, which is which is really really nice. So. Again, like I mentioned, 35,000 BTU furnace, that's what that is there right as well. You got an outside light on the entry side of your trailer. We're just going to zip down. We're a little tighter. We brought it right in the lot rather than sitting out front to do the video. Um, but again, we're right at the back of the trailer. So Grand Design folks, known for their structure, known for their foundation. They were the first manufacturer to come out with a three-year structural warranty. Um, the beautiful thing with Grand Design folks, back when they started their company, um, they built the product to support their three-year structural warranty. The last thing they want to do is pay warranty claims. Okay, the benefit to you by paying less warranty claims is you're buying a far superior product that's not getting tied up in a service department. So fully laminated vertical wall panels all through your slide outs your main wall your rear wall there are no hung walls on this product whatsoever with this trailer has block foam insulation all the aluminum tubing in the side wall the structure um, the superstructure is all is all aluminum fully bead welded it's not spot welded they add a lot of wood dowels into the aluminum tubes where you have exterior fasteners going into the side wall so that you're supporting that steel screw uh, with that wood dowel if you didn't have that as your trailer flexes and stresses going down the road it's gonna over time wear that hole a little bit bigger and that's where you get separation and moisture intrusion and all of those things again you'll notice Grand Design puts ladders on the backs of all the their RVs um, they want you to be able to access the roof they want you to be able to sweep off the tops of your slide outs you'd be shocked folks how many products in the industry if you see something without a ladder it could be a very good indicator that you do not have a walk-on roof and they'll tout you know ooh, look how lightweight we are a heavier trailer typically is a well-built trailer um, it's not all about weight savings typically to save on weight they have to take structure out to get that weight down but coming down the entry side of your trailer you do get the spray port here folks which is nice so there's your uh, outside water you could set up a really cool outdoor uh, cooking area um, this particular model folks because the kitchen and entertainment cabinet slides out on the entry side you do get the outdoor kitchen so you do get that range top the little outdoor fridge it's all covered by your 21 foot power awning and this awning it's the largest power awning you can get is fully adjustable and it's really easy to adjust all you got to do is reach up and pull down on this arm and that puts a tilt to the roller tube so what's cool about that is let's say if it is raining outside and you want to divert what way you want the water to roll off your awning you can just pull down on one of the arms both sides does it um, you can also drop both at the same time if you just want a little bit more shade coverage if that sun is dropping down a little bit in the the sky and your doors facing west um, you know you can give yourself a little bit more shade coverage which is uh, which is nice but I really like this product um, this this floor plan the nice thing is that entry door does fold flat up against the wall this particular floor plan you do get the fold in and out step uh, which is nice a lot of people really like it uh, one thing you do want to do is wipe down that step before you fold it in if it does get a little bit dirty but it makes for a really nice clean clean look when it's all folded up inside the trailer um, but it's super solid and you can see by the steps there folks fully adjustable legs so if you aren't as mobile or maybe you know going up and down those those typical the old school steps a uh, little too much movement for you this one may be a little more solid for you make it a little more easier to get in inside in and out of the trailer so lend a hand grab handle you'll find with grand design folks they put in wider entry doors taller entry doors all of those things um, again couple of the specs on this trailer folks this the length of this trailer is 32 feet 3 inches and that's from the hitch to the rear wall your hitch weight of the trailer is 690 pounds your fresh water capacity is 52 gallons like I mentioned but your gray capacity is 82 gallons 
When they first came out with the Imagine, it was at 72. So again, through that refining process, they've continued to make those tanks bigger. So 82 gallons, that's two tanks combined to equal 82, one for your kitchen, one for your bathroom. And then your black tank is 45 gallons, which is fantastic. Again, refining when they started the Imagine, it had a 39 gallon black tank. So again, always, always adding and, and continually making the product better. One thing I didn't mention in their pass-through storage compartments, folks, have a look. All the aluminum tubing, fully bead welded together, very, very structurally sound, giving you just a beautiful storage compartment to house all of your outdoor camping gear. If you see that hose hanging down, that's your antifreeze sucking hose. So making winterizing your trailer very, very easy before you put it away for the, for the winter time. So uh, one thing to note again on the structure of the Grand Design product folks is they do frame in around all of their window openings. A lot of manufacturers to save on weight and cost, they just simply don't do that. So uh, Grand Design putting the structure in where it really matters most. So we're going to walk to the back here. I'm going to hop up on the roof and uh, point out a few key details up on the roof here. So just a sec. I just want to give you a little shot of our dealership here beautiful facility i feel so blessed to be able to come and work in just such a nice facility we're a small dealership here we're on three and a half acres all we carry for uh for towables um, is the uh, grand design product folks we are uh, looking at another line ultra lightweight line that isn't currently carried but uh we've got um grand design here and we're just so blessed to be able to carry this product hey guys I'm on the roof of this 2670 MK and I just want to kind of pan around and just give you a little shot of our little dealership here in uh, Leduc Alberta Canada and I just feel so blessed to be able to come to work here every day we have such a phenomenal team we're a small team here you know we have like 15 people that work here at our dealership it's brand new we've been open only open a few years now and uh, just really pushing the envelope for creating an unbelievable uh, experience but just look at our dealership the commitment from our ownership to brick and mortar we're not the fly-by-night dealership we are here to service your needs we're in it for the long haul we want to come alongside your rv journey and help you and your friends our goal at our dealership here at all of our dealerships for that matter is not just to sell you one rv we want to help you for your rv journey life um, and that is you know for a lot of people includes several rvs and friends and family and Again, just look at this facility. We're right on Highway 2, which runs north and south through Alberta. Got the big mall and Costco across the street. But uh, yeah, we just, we just love coming to work every day. This is just such a passion of ours. So back on the product. Again, I'm on the roof. Key point, I'm on the roof. Full walk-on roof, folks. Like having accessibility to the roof of your trailer is huge. To be able to change out a roof vent after a hailstorm, to be able to go up on the roof and to do some roof sealant touch-ups, all of those things. Grand design, folks, full walk-on slide boxes. And this slide out that I'm walking on, there's no supports in the middle of it, uh, like a kitchen or something like that. I'm not being picky and choosy. This is a wide open slide out with your theater seat and booth dinette inside. This roof panel is laminated, it's insulated and aluminum framed, just like the main sidewall. Okay, and that's how Grand Design builds all of their trailers. Other than the Transcend, it's a little different, but you still get the walk-on roof and slide boxes. Um, just like a solitude, just like a momentum, okay? That golden thread of consistency, they don't deviate from the belief that they have in what, how an RV should be made. It's continued through all of their brands, which is, should give you confidence when investing in their, their, their product. And a lot of our customers they, that have bought Grand Designs, if they wanna upsize and go bigger or downsize, they're sticking with the brand because they believe in it, just like we do. But again, laminated slide box, um, the roof that they build on their trailers, folks, is a roof that's designed to go through all sorts of different types of climates. Whether it's super hot outside, if you're down in the southern U.S. someplace with the sun beating down lots, or you're up here in Canada where you get a lot colder temperatures and a heavy snow load in the wintertime. This roof is designed to take the weight of melting snow. It's got a great thermal barrier with an R40 insulation factor to it. So you've got your astrofoil insulation, you've got your bat insulation, you've got a 16 inch on center, 
wood truss with your wood decking and then your LS Alpha Superflex TPO roof membrane, folks. There is nothing better in the industry as a roof for Grand Design. It breathes, okay? They put attic vents in, right? Attic vents really you only found in the old Citation motor, uh, fifth wheels going back many, many years. They don't build them anymore. But those trailers were designed for cold weather use. And that attic vent there, folks, allows your roof to breathe. It allows the heat to escape when it's smoking hot out, just like your house. Um, it allows moisture to escape if you're using it in cold weather with a laminated roof that a lot of manufacturers are putting in. Um, those roofs don't breathe very well. And if you're using it in colder weather where you're breathing inside, you're cooking, you're showering, your propane heat has moisture in it, you can literally get those little water droplets building up on the inside of your trailer trailer in the roof you could be sitting there watching TV and drip right on your right on your head you get rained on and with this type of roof folks um, you just don't get that it will breathe which is really really nice like I mentioned R40 insulation down your roof down your front cap okay and look at the amount of roof vents you get one for your bedroom one for your bathroom one for your kitchen which is absolutely fantastic great big skylight um, you got the Jaboni pre-wire for your solar right there. Runs right down to that wiring in that basket that I pointed out to you earlier. And like, look at the sealant, that Dicor sealant, lap sealant, whatever you want to call it, they layer it on thick. I've seen some products in the industry over the years, folks, where literally they just put a little dablet over top of the screws and down either side of the molding that they use to secure the cap to the roof. And you're guaranteed going to have a water leak eventually without, if you're not paying attention to your uh, to your roof sealant. Grand design, they're not holding back. Um, and again, you get the Coleman mock. This one does have the 15,000 BTU air conditioner in it uh, with the 50 amp service, has the fireplace inside. So they give you all that. And that air conditioner tied to that racetrack ducting system there's nothing more efficient in the industry going today so uh, we're gonna jump down oh one thing wine guard air 360 this TV antenna is super upgraded nowadays um, you can utilize it's got the um, you, you can get a sim card right from your from your cell phone cell phone provider plug it in there use your data plan no matter where you're at suck in um, you know you can watch and stream shows right on your Roku TV inside utilizing YouTube um, Netflix, all those things, no matter where you're at, just as long as you got cell phone uh, uh, coverage, um, as well as it's a Wi-Fi booster as well. So uh, you can suck in within a mile and a half that Wi-Fi signal and, and stream that way. Of course, dependent on the download speed and, and what restrictions they have, but uh, also it's digital. So like here in, in Edmonton, I can suck in five, six channels right here at the dealership digitally. So again, dependent on where you're camping. So super good TV antenna, it's all included it's not that big TV antenna that can get gobbled up by tree branches as you're going through the campground if you forget to fold it down. So again, I know I'm talking a lot, but uh, this is the roof of the, the 2670, super clean. All right, we're gonna jump down, just a sec. Hey friends, we're about, we're about to jump inside the uh, 2670 NK, but one thing I wanted to point out was the outside speakers that Grand Design puts on. All right, they're not countersunk inside the wall. And this is just a small little detail, but I mean, Grand Design's all about the little details and this is what we love about them. Uh, with some products, you buy a cheaper speaker, um, great, get, grab a great big hole saw, cut a great big hole in the side of your trailer and countersink the speaker in the wall. Well, that's a great big hole, right? And with that speaker inside the wall, it brings noise inside the trailer if you got the music playing outside and someone's trying to go to bed at night. By Grand Design's thinking, rather than a great big hole, they cut, drill a little hole for a wire and then mount that speaker to the wall. And then they put their, their Mylar tape seal and silicone and do all the things that they do. But that, that speaker running, it's much quieter. It's all insulated in behind that speaker. So again, little detail, I touch on it in some of the videos, not the end of the world, but you know what? It's just, again, a testament to who Grand Design is and what they're doing. They do put the center brace under this uh, great big 21 foot power awning as well. And there is an LED light strip as well. So what's cool about it, I'll just turn this on. Uh, where are we? Exterior light. There we go. So it does have that nice LED light strip. You can see they are dropping that LED light strip. The earlier LED light strip on the awnings were up higher where it mounted into that, that awning rail. 
and when the awning rolled up the light didn't work very good so they're dropping that light down just to give you a little bit better lighting coverage and that goes all the way down the awning as well as you got little blue lights inside those outdoor speakers too tied in kind of adds a cool look so thought I'd show that to you anyway okay we're gonna jump inside one key element I like about this layout folks right across the door from your bathroom so easy access to your bathroom when your slide outs are fully retracted you're not restricted to be able to pull off the side of the rose road use the toilet and uh, do your business so again if you got guests they're not having to walk through your trailer those sorts of things if you got guests overnighting they're not coming into your bedroom to use the the, the toilet it's right across from your uh, from your entry door and again true to grand design form you get those nice pocket doors rather than swinging doors so just easier flow right off the hop and since we're walking into the bathroom I'm going to touch a few things on it uh, they do give you some really nice storage here as well extra storage hidden hinges really nice modern contemporary interior this is the new pebble interior they've gone a lot brighter uh, very very contemporary but really nice look we've got lots of good good comments about the new interior I love this this is your towel racks so you roll up your towels you stack them inside beautiful spot to house all of your towels this does have the nautilus p uh, sorry not nautilus p1 it has the nautilus shower curtain and this shower curtain uh, rather than a curtain just hanging on some some rings on a rod up top which will shrink wrap around you when you hop in the shower with the static electricity this is in a chassis and so it just comes across and latches in of course that shower uh, panel will get wet and the way they've designed it is there's actually a squeegee that's built so that when this shower door retracts back in, it squeegees off the, uh, the, the water and it runs back down into the shower pan and drains into your tank. So mold and mildew resistant, just a far better. And you can literally be on the inside of the shower and punch that door and nothing's gonna happen to it, which is good. So really nice detailed shower surround, skylight above if you're a taller person, good spot to, for your head to slide up inside. So. I mean, you got the double vanity here as well. All the storage. It's really nice. Good counter space. Three drawers in your bathroom. They're not holding back. So we'll jump into the bedroom since we're up front here. So a couple things, again, like I mentioned, the word refine. Always changing, always developing, thinking, trying to make things better. The original design, these doors here, they added a couple more and they carried all the way across over to the wall. So you literally had all your upper storage go all the way from wall to wall. Okay, and so with Grand Design, they're thinking, okay, well, what they did, sorry, to finish that, was the cabinets came across. This closet started at the bottom of these cabinets and then went down. Notice there's two drawers. It went down, used to get one drawer. So they're thinking like, okay, well, how do we give people more storage, usable storage, right? Okay, well, let's shrink up the upper storage, which is no big deal, right? These lift up, storage all the way across, still very functional and works. Let's raise the closet up, which is super smart. Eric, smart. Eric Land is the product manager for the Imagine product. This guy is unbelievable. Supported by a great team, of course, as well down at Grand Design. And they added an extra drawer. So you get two drawers on either side of your bed, which is absolutely fantastic. You get the hanging closet, and you still get the storage above. Beautiful refinement. What's next? Okay, well, all of a sudden, they're like, well, there's a bit of an air void behind the drawers the way the front profile is designed well how do we maximize that they were getting some calls from people some dealers myself included and why not put a little storage cubby to give people a little bedside table on either side right to put a CPAP machine to be able to put a glass of water your glasses a reading book whatever or just so that your nose isn't buried in a wall while you're sleeping. Doesn't make you necessarily feel like you're sleeping in a tunnel. So they added these nice little storage cubbies in a basically a place that was voided with space and added the 110 plug. You've got the USB connections on both sides, which is absolutely beautiful. Again, refinement, making it better. You got the lights, blue lights for... Uh, for nighttime if you like a little uh, night light. The bed in all the Grand Design fo folks are all residential size beds. So in this particular model, it is 60 inches wide by 80 inches long. So if you don't like the mattress that comes with it, um, you can go to any mattress shop and it'll fit the same dimensions. 
So, and then again, another, another addition for this year, 2021.5, little storage tray. You could take that out if you want, store underneath, but just another extra little refinement. And they did support it. This is a super strong drawer. You can actually put some good weight in there, which is nice. Gas struts. I've seen a lot of the trailers where you're literally having to hold the bottom of the bed up to access what's underneath the bed. In our trailers, my wife and I, we always put the laundry hampers under the bed, and that's where we put our dirty laundry after we've, uh, as, as we're going through our camping trip. So, um, again, pocket door here in your entryway. It's not a swing door, but again, you also get another closet. So if you want to do a cross Canada trip, head south, you can pack a lot of stuff. Like look how big those drawers are. They're huge, big, big drawers. And you get the, uh, the hanger rod here as well. So three wardrobes, you got six drawers in your bedroom. There's a motion sensor light, light in here as well absolutely beautiful bedroom for uh for going down the uh for going camping on longer trips and taking what you need to go with you if you want to add a second ac or a max fan in your bedroom you're all pre-wired right up here so all good to go <clears throat> one thing to note folks with grand design a dna item um no heat registers in their floor. They build one piece floors in their trailers. This is a laminated floor. So it's a seam staggered, double stacked laminated plywood decking for your floor uh, with the block foam insulation. And it's a laminated floor, very similar to your sidewall, which creates a one piece floor. Very, very, very strong. Also by not doing the heat ducts in the floor, you're not gonna develop soft spots over time. Okay, um, as well as if you're traveling down the road, you wanna run your furnace, you don't have your slide outs covering heat ducts, those sorts of things. We've seen a lot of trailers where the heat registers are on the floor in front of your sofa. You know, if somebody, if you fold out the sofa, this one's a theater seat, by the way, which doesn't make into a bed. I can option in a trifold sofa that I can fold out. With this, if it had the trifold sofa and there was a heat duct on the floor, you'd basically bake your guests when that furnace is running. Uh, with Grand Design, you don't have to worry about those things. The dog hair, the dog food, kids' crayons, the Cheerios, whatever the case is, isn't going to be going down into those heat ducts, which is, which is really, really nice. So, again, I'm just going to shoot around here. The entry side slide out, folks, is a combination of part of your kitchen and your entertainment. Okay? Your television is on a power lift. So this little glass panel drops down, shows you your DVD player, Bluetooth stereo. So you've got your uh, LED TCL TV. It's a Roku TV. So this TV will power lift right up, covers up the window. Grand Design's thinking, right? Then the Grand Design DNA item, they try to give you as many windows as they possibly can on the entry side of your trailer. So by doing the Televator here, yes, I said Televator, um, they can bring out the television and then tuck it away if you don't want the TV. Kind of a safety feature too, if you're hiding the television, you get somebody peeking through your window looking for something to nab, uh, depending on where you store it, uh, the TV's hidden away. So, really nice setup. And then this lid, just to show you, drops right back down over top of the television, giving you lots of counter space. So, beautiful, beautiful. Um, also, you've got your fireplace here as well. Again, 5,000 BTU heater. A lot of people, they like a warmer living area, but a cooler bedroom. Just turn your fireplace on. If you're able to plug into shore power or have your generator running, you can use this to heat your living area up, right? And it makes really quiet, quiet heat, which is nice. Um, but again, tons of counter space, lots of drawers. In behind here is right where your outdoor kitchen sits, but uh, tons of storage. I love the design, the two-tone colored counter uh, cabinets, the nice modern upscale, really easy to pull handles. It's not a knob that's hard to grab onto. Hidden European style hinges. These aren't cheap hinges, okay, but really nice looking, creating a really nice modern contemporary design. You got three more drawers in your kitchen island. Fully adjustable faucet. And then you get the big farm style sink here as well with the roll up, uh, roll up sink cover. You can wash your veggies on that sink cover. You can use it as a drying rack for your dishes. It's got a great big sink. If you don't want to use much water, just get a Rubbermaid container, drop it in there and you're good to go. I mean, not to mention you've got that massive fresh water capacity and gray capacity. So don't be afraid to use the water. Um, in your fridge and pantry area here, folks, they did upgrade and you do have an eight cubic foot refrigerator now, 
which is really nice. They used to have the six cube for the first five years they built the product. So to get the extra space in the fridge is kind of nice. And RV manufacturers can outfit their fridges the way they want. This, they put the little, little divider or the little blockade here so that in transport, that will help prevent you know, stuff from sliding off. You just set those up and, and it'll help keep the stuff in the fridge without opening the door and having everything falling in your face. So of course they're thinking the four-legged four -legged friends you got the food dish. This actually is supposed to spin around, but um, they're thinking of our puppies. We love our puppies. And then for those people that like to bring uh, different bottles of different varieties and sizes, well, you got a tray there for five of them or what have you. Uh, again, the pantry here, super deep, goes right to the back wall and uh, down below as well. So um, one thing to know, folks, during COVID, a lot of people are working from home. And if you've got Wi-Fi connectivity for people that, you know, doing the Zoom calls, the Skype calls, what have you, you got a desk in this trailer, like no restrictions. Like if you're working from home and you want to hit the road and go enjoy life and go see different things and you're not restricted having to go to an office every day, bring your office with you. You've got a beautiful workstation, you get a folding table, a, a chair, and you've got a nice little workstation with a great big window to do your work and that sort of thing. And then once you're done doing that, hey, you're camping. You're able to go do some wonderful things and enjoy life and create memories. Like look at the, look at the storage. One thing, grand design on some of these bigger cabinets, they add the shelf up inside here, right? Giving you the double the amount of storage. Some manufacturers open this up and it's just one big open space. So, uh, MCD roller shades, full blackout style with this product as well. Um, on this floor plan, folks, I did stick with the booth dinette. It's a very large dinette, uh, great big tabletop. It does make into a bed. There's storage underneath. You've got the reversible cushions um, to, you know, if you've got little ones with, you know, don't want to get that dirty or what have you, you can flip those around. Um, so you can get a freestanding table and chairs here if you so choose. Um, with the seating, I did go with the theater seat, which does have the heat and massage and those fully recline out as well. You can get a trifold sofa if you so choose, which would make into a bed. Okay. And again, note the big windows grand design puts in. All right. So I think I've pretty much covered it. Uh, I apologize if I missed some stuff. I apologize if I've talked way too much. Uh, but those are just the kind of videos we shoot here at our dealership. We want to educate you. We want to come alongside you and tell you all about the trailer so you know when you're investing the kind of money you do on an RV, you know what you're getting. So, oh, one thing to touch on, new convenience center. This is the part of the Compass Connect, right? So you can download that app. It's got a new look. You operate your awning through here, both your slide outs, gas electric hot water heater, 17.8 gallons per hour, water pump switch, your ceiling light interior, all your tank monitors, beautiful look. And then there's the Bluetooth connectivity button right there. So you download that app to your phone. And again, you can go outside, use your awning off your phone, um, do your slide outs, do your lights, do all those things and utilize it for your tire pressure monitoring system if you choose to uh, pick up that feature extra. So again, I know I've thrown a lot at you. My name is Clayton Phillips. I'm the sales manager here at Woody's RV World in Leduc. Love to get you down to our store. We're just 15 minutes south of Edmonton, but hey, we also recognize that Leduc may not be close to you. And if you're in Alberta, BC, Saskatchewan, wherever the case is, we've got five dealerships that carries, carry this wonderful product in Alberta. Uh, don't be shy, head on down to one of our dealerships. You'll find a beautiful facility, all brick and mortar. Our commitment to the RV industry. We've been in the industry for close to 40 years now. We gotta be coming up on our 40th anniversary. We've been around a long time. We are RV people. Uh, this is what we do and we love this industry. It's enriched our lives and we know that we've come alongside a lot of people who it's enriched their lives as well and we want to be a part of that journey with you. So again, come on down to our dealership, 8012 Sparrow Crescent, Leduc, Alberta. Our phone number is 780-986-1234. Thanks for watching. Take care. Happy camping.